don't want to call me and start thinking of buying clothes first because your food but make sure you pack them decently make your hair hi guys welcome back to my channel if i just stopping by for the first time my name is Juliet abiola welcome and if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back again 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 and again you already know the drill so i've been getting requests of um things to pack when you are coming abroad or when you're traveling abroad things you need to pack so yeah i'm going to be making the video right now so i'm just going to like be listing out i actually wrote them out here yeah. i have a list for you guys this was actually what i used to when i was packing when i was coming this was the list i used i think i actually got it on youtube too so i decided to like write it out for you guys and just tell you guys things that i packed while i was coming or things you should pack while traveling abroad or while coming for schooling or we are coming to you whether you are going to you i'm very sure that this list is going to be important for you or it's going to be useful for you whether you are going to us or uk or whichever country you are but then considering where i am and where i was going to this is for united states things i packed while i was coming to the united states as a student so the first thing for you is to get a document folder so get a document folder you know this file we call it, i think we call it file the clear bag in nigeria yeah clear bag just get a folder and put all your documents in it all your traveling documents and make sure you make photocopies of them you don't want to have just one copy of all your documents so make photocopies of all your documents and make sure you get like a document folder so put everything there you don't want to mix your documents with your clothes or your food stuff just get a documents folder to put all your documents your traveling passports your i20 your um all other documents your service documents all, all your traveling documents and your school documents make sure you put them in a documents folder second one is um getting cash of where you're going to so let's say you're coming to the united states now you need to get dollars i mean dollars does not really have to be like plenty but then at least get and you are coming to a country where it's possible that you don't even know anybody you don't have anybody you don't have any family or you are probably not going to meet any family who have money with you to spend for a few days before you open your bank accounts and everything and have your credit or debit card at least you have to have some cash with you so please when you are coming in get cash another thing is clothes yeah you need clothes please <laughs> i know that we are always like oh, i want to buy clothes there when i get to united states i want to buy my winter jacket you always have this fantasy of we have this we have this fantasy of we are coming here to buy clothes <laughs> by the time you come here you know you are, you are just coming in and you probably don't have a job yet and for the first for the first few months you don't want to be spending the few cash you brought i mean you are going to convert naira to dollars <laughs> you will start converting trust me like you will start converting let's say you want to buy something of 20 dollars when you the thing is it's just natural it's something that happens to everyone when you first come into the united states when you're spending in dollars you you tend to like start converting it to naira at first you'll be like oh my god i'm spending so 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 thousands on this like it's just normal you convert it's normal so when you come in and you have like let's say, you, you don't want to start buying clothes in dollars like you don't want to start that because they are going to be very very expensive by the time you start converting the money my dear <laughs> it's not gonna be funny let's say you have like one million naira and you want to convert it to dollars how much is it going to be in dollars i want to start buying clothes <laughs> it's not gonna be nice so please just make sure you buy all your clothes make sure at least some clothes that is going to last you for a few months whether two or three months you don't want to call me and start thinking of buying clothes first because the money is not the same and you're gonna start spending more and then get um all this winter jacket i mean they might not be so like quality like the ones you get here but then at least you have something to especially when you're coming in fall you have something to like keep you warm so get your winter jacket whether two one or two is okay just get your winter jacket another thing is online banking yeah try and like settle with your nigerian bank before coming try and because i still actually use my online banking i use first bank and gt bank and i still use my my banks like when i want to use naira when i need to buy something in naira so you still need to like do some transactions with your bank in nigeria make sure you have your bank app on your phone and you 
set up or register for your online banking with your nigerian bank another thing i'm gonna tell you is for my ladies get your underwears make sure you get your underwears because it's just like lightning into clothes you don't want to come here and the first thing you start thinking of is getting underwears pants bras so make sure you get your underwears your pants your bras socks those are the things you're gonna need very well as regards clothing then we have mobile phone if you're using techno in phoenix i'm not sure they're gonna work here trust me Techno, Infinix, two phones that I'm sure of that will work are iPhone and Samsung. I'm very sure of iPhone and Samsung. So any other phone, I'm not sure, but I'm very sure that Infinix and, and Techno will most likely not really work. Infinix and Techno will most likely not work here. So please, try and like, if you have money, you can try and buy a Samsung. Yeah, let me, yeah cheaper Samsung. So you can try and like get Samsung or you can come here to get them. So at least you need a phone coming. So try and get cheap Samsung phones. If you don't have the money, I can get iPhone too. You can if you have the money so you can get big phones. But then I'm not sure in Phoenix and Techno. They're not gonna work here, yeah. Techno and Phoenix and some other but I'm sure of iPhone and Samsung. Uh -huh, your laptop charger and your phone charger. Your laptop charger, they have this um um, okay, let me just show you guys my charger. Yeah. So, this is all the out outputs, charger output, or what do we call this? I've seen out there, it's always two mounts. So, if you're coming here with your laptop charger that has like all this um, extra mount, all this big, big three mount, then you might find it hard to see a place to plug it. Except you are going to come in with extension, which is like your I'm very sure that your extension is going to have like a very funny kind of um, output or ch I don't know what this thing, this thing is called but then most of their chargers they are just two mouths if you have your laptop already if you can get a laptop charger for your laptop that has like simple mounts like this this is my laptop charger and this is my phone charger so this you can see how simple it is so this is the type of socket they have here and this is for the charger for the phone this is the simple one if you want to have three months this kind of three months so you know all these big big three months that we use in nigeria you do not have the sockets here and you won't be able to charge your phone you won't be able to plug your phone so you can get something simple or you come in here to get something simple and one thing that i can actually recommend for you to get the power bank here i was going to go there too so try and get a power bank to charge your phone i mean you might get the place to charge your phone but especially those of us that will be connecting flights let's say you're coming from lagos then you have to stop in japan <laughs> so if you are connecting flights you might need to charge your phone if you are unable to get like a simple mount charger just get a power bank to charge your phone so you get it and you get another a better charger or a suitable charger for this place so just get a power bank if you're unable to get a simple mount charger but then these are the type of mounts that they use here these are the recommended ones so all these big big laptop chargers all those infinix phone charger they don't have the sockets that you enter here they don't they don't so you have to like either get a small mount or if you're not able to get something like this just get a power bank when you come here you buy that's the i think that's like the best advice i can give get a power bank just get a power bank whether you give anything you get the thing is whether you even get a, a a simple charger or not make sure you get the power bank because you might need it when while connecting flight or you don't know anything can happen or you don't want to be stranded so just get a power bank too so another thing is um i said this in one of my videos i came in here and i had malaria like, i had malaria coming from nigeria and i didn't i don't even know how i forgot because i brought paracetamol i brought um amosilin i brought so many drugs but then i forgot malaria drugs i don't know how it happened but then please when you're coming make sure you bring paracetamol or some kind of drug because the first thing is that you cannot go into any store and say you want to buy drugs like nobody will sell it for you it has to be like something that was prescribed for you by a doctor before they can sell drugs for you and then about is that they do not have malaria drugs here because they do not believe in malaria and they do not have malaria when i came here i had malaria i went to the hospital they treated me for all every other thing except malaria and it was malaria that was doing me so i was still sick like i was still sick i was still very sick with all the treatment i was still sick and until i used malaria drug like as like a friend of mine that was in another state so he had to send malaria drugs to me that was when god used the drugs to make me better yeah because it's god that made me better but then god used the malaria drug every other drugs i was using god 
<laughs> don't let me say God was not ready to use them. All of that drugs they were giving me in the hospital, I just spent days sick, weak, like I don't I have like, I've never been that sick in my life. You know when you are sick and you're not getting treatment for what exactly is wrong with you, you are a is doing you and they are treating you for B. I knew it was malaria, but they kept on saying eh, you can never have malaria. Yet. But then I just came in. They were not looking at the fact that I just came in. What if I already had the malaria before coming? So please, when you are coming, make sure you get your basic drugs, prastamol, um, malaria drugs, um, just, I mean, things you know that you use. I don't want to, I'm not a doctor, so I'm not going to start prescribing drugs here. But then we all use Prastamol, I think so. Then malaria drugs, if you have malaria. And then, yeah, if you use glasses like me, make sure you get your glasses. Because when you come here, my dear brothers and sisters, <laughs> you're going to spend more. So, I mean, at least things that you will use for first few months and years that you're going to spend here try and get them i mean i got to glasses when i was coming look at me now i misplaced one of it now i'm left with this if any should happen to this one i have to like spend more to get another one but then i got two while i was coming so if you use glasses make sure you get at least two or one while you're coming in here so that you will not start thinking of spending money to get glasses again share you get me my ladies to make sure you get your sanitary pads when you come in here Anything can happen when you're coming. So make sure you get your sanitary pads. Those are the things that I packed. Then your body cream. See, I'm not even going to lie to you. If you are from Nigeria, their body cream does not work for us in the US. They don't have body cream in this country. All their cream is just there. They don't really work. So yeah, get your body cream, your soap, your body soap. At least things that you will use for the first few months. That you're gonna be here. Yeah, get your body cream, your body soap. So another thing you should get is provisions, especially when you are coming and you are coming to school straight. I you don't have any family members that are going to meet. In my own case, I had family members that I went to their place first before coming down to school. So you need to get like provisions like cornflakes, milk, um, plantain, just get snacks that you'll be chewing on in case you are because you might not be able to cook. For first few days and you might not be able to eat their food like me when i came in i starved for months this is not days this is not week i starved for months because i could not eat their food and i could not cook i was not in the position to cook because i've not gotten an apartment you get me yeah so i could not cook and i don't eat i could not eat their food like I just could not eat their food because it was not going. I, mean, I tried eating it, but then I could not. I was just wasting it. So I could not cook. I could not eat their food. And I had nothing to eat, so I was just starving. So please try and get these snacks that you use for the few days that you're going to be in, that you're going to be coming in. Because you might not be able to cook and you might not be able to eat their food. Who knows? You might be like me. Another thing you need to pack is that all your food. I know you people like food. The only thing you pack is food. You see them, a goosey, crayfish, or bono. Please pack your food stuff. I know I don't need to tell people, you already know how to pack it. But then pack your food stuff, your egusi, your dried fish, or your African food. Because you might not even have African store where you'll be schooling. Fortunately for me, we had African stores around where I was staying. But then you might not, there might not be African stores around you where you're going to. And you don't want to like. You get it. so just and then African foods are actually expensive here. So at least pack things that are going to last you for months. Pack your food, but make sure you pack them distantly. You don't want your box to start smelling. Let people start passing beside them and start smelling fish. You please pack them very well and wrap them. Put them in ziplock and just pack them very well. Pack them distantly. And I make sure that I made my hair before coming. If you're a guy, bab your hair because. Uh, yeah, it's not cheap, <laughs> my dear brothers and sisters. It's not cheap, so make your hair before coming. The first few months you are going to be here, you don't want to start thinking of making it, so make that hair very tight, make it very neat. Go to that neatest address around you and make that hair, make it very fine and neat. Because trust me, <laughs> it's not cheap to make hair, yeah, it's not. Mm -mm not cheap in fact when you come here you're gonna start making your hair yourself trust me but then please just make sure you make your hair before coming back guys just 
bar be decent in fact you might just go skin so that before your hair will grow it's gonna take time <laughs> please just make your hair and bab your hair please because it's not cheap and then you might bring your african wears to i mean you might have like cultural events to attend any african event to attend so please bring your cultural wears your native attires to come and prepare them to come and show them that you are from africa you are from nigeria you are from ghana come and show them bring all your african attires please me i didn't bring any and i'm so pained because you know that i didn't bring because i didn't have a home that's the issue if i had i would have brought so please bring all your african attires as i'm saying bring all your african attires i don't say you should come and pack all your mother's wardrobe or pack everything or beware of the weight of your luggage because i've listed everything now you guys do not start packing 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 please pack everything decently beware of weight of luggage because you cannot just park with they used to weigh luggage in the airport so they will weigh your luggage so please beware of the weight of your luggage so while packing all these things make sure you like you are taking notes or you are conscious of the weight of your luggage while packing so that's i think i'm done with the list guys i think i'm done with the list if if you are in the united states and you think i missed some things you might just write them down in the comment section for others to learn from and for us to learn from you get so but then this is what i use i'm not gonna lie this was the exact list i used while i was packing the only thing that i brought that was outside this list was my youtube equipment if i dedicated a box for my youtube equipment because i could not leave them <laughs> i already spent a whole lot for my tripod my light my camera for me to now leave them back home to do what was the list i used and i think i actually got this on youtube so i was watching through youtube videos and that was how i was able to like get this list too so this will be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and were able to learn more of things i'll see you all in my next video i love you guys as always bye